Okay, so you want to make a compost pile, you can do it freestanding, you can do it inside some sort of container like a pallet bin, but really what it comes down to is you want to gather all kinds of organic matter that you have around your yard or your farm and sort of divide that into two main groups. One being the greens, which is often green plant material, it could also be manure, okara, coffee grounds, anything that's high in nitrogen and usually moisture, that's your green materials. Your brown materials tend to be dried out plant matter like straw or hay or dried leaves or sawdust. And without doing too much number crunching and getting too finicky about it, it comes down to about 50-50 greens and browns in terms of bulk. And you want to make nice thin layers and make sure that especially the brown material is chopped up into lots of pieces so that you have lots of surface area. That's just a bigger lunch bar for the microbes. So you want to think about surface area, your greens and your browns in alternating layers, and you want to think about the volume of the pile. You want it big enough to insulate its own heat that's created by the thermophilic bacteria in the interior, but you also don't want to have it too big because then air has a hard time getting into the middle of the pile. What you'll notice is that steam will start to come out, the compost pile will start to cook down and get really hot, and then start to cool down. And at that point, you can either mix it up and uh, turn up the heat if you want uh, to kill weed seeds or to get compost in a real hurry. Otherwise, you can just let it go anaerobic. And sometimes that's better because less nitrogen is oxidized in the atmosphere and you come out with a bit of a richer compost. So there's lots of ways you can do this, but the main idea is to gather your greens and browns and layer them in a pile. It's really kind of as simple as that. And then you've got your finished compost which is an invaluable soil conditioner. And it's great to inoculate your garden soil with all of the, the entire critter fest that's present in the compost pile. And that's about it.